U.S. school starts up, it's time to remember the rules of the road. 7 News reporter Sean Brenda speaks to one school district which admits it's had a few close calls. That's about, that's about the speed most traffic goes through here. Lenny Bigglehopt is the director of transportation at Hammond Central School District, and he says drivers need to slow down in school zones. So school starting tomorrow, our students are going to be on the sidewalks, on the buses, and uh, just want to get everybody on board to pay attention, watch for children, watch for buses. Along State Route 37 last year, Hammond Central School Superintendent Douglas McQueer says there were several close calls and crosswalks with kids and a crossing guard. Probably last year there had to be three to four incidences where he basically grabbed the kid, get him out of the way, lucky that they didn't get hit. To fight fast drivers, state troopers will sometimes set up near the district, ready to pull people over. Speeding in a school zone can cost you between $90 and $1,200, depending on how fast you're going. Also, school officials don't want to see this, drivers passing a stopped school bus. The rule here, drivers must stop no matter what lane they're in, and no matter how many lanes there are. Fines start at $250, and you could get five points on your license. Sean Brindo, 7 News.